Hello Internet, it's Mike from Rabies Reviews here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Warpath. Um, so, as you can see, and this was the first thing I noticed when I saw Warpath, was he does not have a cannon on his chest. Nor, contrary to popular internet myth, one in his crotch. Uh, in this particular case, uh, in the Legends Class figure, they did go ahead and give him a side-mounted arm cannon... Uh, I, th I think what we're probably going to see later on is a, is, a, is a repaint of this, is maybe Megatron, or is this maybe a, a repaint from a Legends class Megatron? Somebody let me know in the comments. Uh, either way, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him. Uh, he has uh, a head swivel here, uh, nothing crazy, and it's just a, a mushroom peg shoved into his back. Uh, he's got uh, ball-jointed shoulders. Uh, this kind of hinders the, the articulation a little bit. Uh, ball-jointed elbows, so he can do the wiggles. He can do the wiggles. Uh, and then it's the same on both sides. And then the gun is actually on a ball joint in here, too. Um, so you can rotate it up and make it look like he's kind of holding the gun. I am holding a gun. Uh, so, yeah, you can, you can do that. Uh, then you got uh, ball-jointed uh, hips. Be careful on that because it's part of the transformation there. Uh, ball jointed hips also uh, a little bit hindered by the molding. Uh, he's got this little detail here that kind of stops him from doing that. And then he's got uh, hinged knees. He does not have a thigh swivel or anything like that. Uh, he does kind of have a toe pointing thing as part of the transformation. I don't know if that's ever going to be useful besides, you know, if you want it to be a pretty, pretty ballerina. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, the transformation on this guy actually for Legends Class figure uh, surprised me a little bit. Uh, there's a few few gimmicks that I enjoyed about it. Uh, the first one being is the spring-loaded chest. If you unclip his arms here from the back, like this, you will watch as I let go of this chest, it kind of pops up. And I thought that was pretty cool. That's on a swivel too, but you don't need to swivel it. Uh, anyway, so uh, we have the gun over in front of his hand and his fist, and you can see that it's got a uh, little 5mm peg on it here. I think it's a little less than 5mm actually, because it fits kind of loosely. And you want to make sure that as you rotate both arms in to connect them, that that peg goes in the other fist, and that forms the whole turret right there, as you can see. Uh, and then here is the other cool thing uh, with this, the leg pieces. They unfold all the way down. Uh, to some crazy degree, basically, you know, turning him into this weird giant fly type configure. Oh, kill me! Kill me! Uh, but then those, of course, just hinge all the way back up and then clip together on both of them. And then you make sure you pull it all the way out. And then you can see a couple tabs right there. And then there's a few tabs back in the back as well. Take that out of the way. Clip all that together. And then his feet fold down to cover up some of the other kibble here. Uh, of course, I've done something wrong. Lift that up. Pull the feet down. There you go. And then we'll put his arms down. And you have Warpath as a tank. There you go. Uh, which, honestly, I, th I was thought I was going to mind the, the fists as, as the front of the turret a little bit more. Uh, but it doesn't look that bad. Uh, he does roll. So he needs my badass meter right there. He's got a rolling tank. His treads do not move, but anybody expecting the treads to be individually, uh, you know, articulated on a Legends class figure is a moron. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, but yeah, he does have 360 on the turret, and he goes up, and uh, he does not have his head showing unless you rotate it around. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. That is uh, Transformers Combiner Wars Legends class. Warpath, and he is a tank. Uh, I'd say go ahead and pick him up. You know, ten bucks. He's a cool little tank. Okay, uh, so yep, this is Mike from Rabies Reviews saying uh, thanks again. Go ahead and click like and subscribe, and uh, if you got any figures or anything from the Combiner Wars line that you want me to review next, please go ahead and add it in the comments. Uh, also, later on, I will be pulling out some of my boxes of Transformers and seeing if you guys want me to review those, too. All right, thanks.